Carajo. Hello my Taurus friends, Guiding Halo here, hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys, week of the 28th to the 4th of September. Now I always keep in mind I want these to be money, finance, career related, but whether they show up that way is another story. If love life shows up in your reading and money, finance, and career, it could be that it's affecting your ability to work or even think straight where money's concerned. It could be that it's siphoning your money. Seven of Wands, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So you're going to feel the need to be in defense mode, or that's the energy underneath the surface. Feeling dis defensive, <laughs> feeling defensive about a circumstance, but if you were to actually tell the truth, you're actually intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. See, that's what's going on truly, but there's some sort of defensiveness I feel about stepping into this. And we have the Five of Cups here, not seeing the positive in the circumstance. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. I think that's the fear though, crying over spilt milk. Things aren't going to go exactly the way I want them to go, so I'm going to have a little bit of a bull in a china shop situation about this. That's the energy I feel. There's a need to have patience with yourself, trying to find some balance, because a wish granted is about to unfold for you. Something to do with a Leo or taming an inner beast of fear surrounding what infinite possibilities lie there. See, this I believe is from the, the thing of fear, and this is about where you're headed into, perhaps. I mean, take it as it resonates relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic ability so you feel something coming and you instantly get defensive and you don't see the positive in the way you're feeling i don't even know if you see the why the why in what you're feeling could be dealing with cancer but there's something more going on here that meets the eye something that's going on around you perhaps you can't see maybe that's why you're feeling defensive you're feeling this energy of something's off there's some sort of I don't know why I'm getting entrapment. There's nothing about entrapment here unless someone you feel is trying to entrap you into more uh, uh, promise for the future with a new relationship or something or leveling up your relationship. An ending. Uh, someone's had a very heavy mental mind about a circumstance or a situation. It's almost like you can't really let it go until you find your truth about it. It's like taking all of these swords, mental processing, that have stabbed you in the back and finally being able to move forward with it as a knight of swords, which comes after the ten of swords, carrying your new brand of truth forward, willing to slay the dragon. But why are you trying to slay the dragon you're riding? It's interesting, look at dragon, riding a dragon. And I have slaying the dragon came to mind. So it's like, why are you trying to slay the dragon you're riding? Asking for clarity about which way to go here. In hangman mode, perhaps. Waiting, watching. Waiting to see. Asking for clarity. It's like um, guidance. Someone here could be having headaches, I want to say, around your crown chakra area so it's like a halo around your head stemming from temple to temple and back around and it could even go this way up above but up, up over your head <clears throat> a neck ache something like that it's due to an awakening to a circumstance or what needs to be done or how you need to feel differently about a circumstance okay i got two here let's go with this one hopping on your trusty steed and heading forward in a new way or this could be someone coming to you trying to bring a new way to move forward emotionally they're obviously willing to cross the river of emotion here in order to get to you and do what it takes or perhaps you this is you offering a peace offering of yourself to someone else I have the Queen of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Maybe someone wants to, I feel like turning over a new leaf or something. 
I'm going to say if this is a relationship matter, it's keeping you... <laughs> I want to say at work, you're having a very hard time focusing on your work. Mm -hmm. You definitely are. If this is about uh, offering yourself in a new way to work, I think there might be some sort of fear surrounding what you don't know is going to happen regarding a new person coming into the situation. Too much competition. Tell me about this Five of Cups, please, for my Taurus friends. <clears throat> Challenging information. This could be about an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It could be that your mind is getting a hold of you as you end one cycle with your mind to start new. Someone's being childish here. I don't see that you feel the positive in that at all. But whose version of childish is it? My card is sticky here. That's annoying. Is it just because it's your version of childish or is it actually childish? Or is it a child being this way? That's very interesting. Sorry as I clean this card here. I just got to get that off. Well, that's best I can do in any circumstance. Perhaps you want to clean your slate clean and you want to just get everything off your plate before you head off into the new adventure of the unknown. I wonder if someone here could be traveling or going on vacation and wanting to get things off their desk before they head out. There's a wish granted coming in, uh, possibly through... Um, Someone incredibly creative, I want to say. Something here, perhaps, that you've really spent some time growing and building, whether relationship or otherwise, you've got emotional attachment to it, is going to come in and make you very happy. There's going to be some sort of development that's going to bring you joy and happiness. Either, either this is you or it's with somebody else that's going to bring you joy and happiness. It's going to complete an ideal. I feel like there's an ideal that someone has here about emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, all the above. Mental fulfillment, even I would even say mental exhaustion. And there's a wish granted coming between two people that are very passionate about about how you move through this life and what it is you want to create. The thing is, we have a wish granted in this situation but this person is so intently focused on what's going on here and this person's intently focused on the future and on the forward so maybe someone feels there's a possibility for movement forward and the other person says not yet because we got to solve what's in the past first and perhaps whomever it is that's looking backwards is feeling like i can't move forward as this new me or this with this offer or whatever it is until I get this stuff off my plate. Oh, goodness. Yeah, <laughs> I almost wonder if that's been... Well, I'm just going to say it, my Taurus friends. Perhaps maybe at some time, some point in time, it could be used as an excuse to not step into very firm commitment. And that might make you feel incredibly defensive because you feel there's more going on if someone's going to push you. I need to be in hangman mode about this halo. I don't want to move just yet. I don't want to. What's grounding this reading and what's the divine trying to get you moving towards? Making a decision, you see. You're at a crossroads. You know it. Divine knows it. Where they want you to head towards graduation day. They want you to end the cycle you're in. Admit. Just admit it's over. Admit it's over. Their karma has been served. Karma. Something. Up for review and re-evaluate during Uranus retrograde all the way till gosh who knows when. So with planets all being retrograde now pretty soon, it's like there's definitely a time for stop, review, evaluate, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. It's not leave everything behind and move on without everybody, maybe for some it is, but perhaps mostly it's about taking the whole situation and moving the whole situation you've been in in a new direction, taking it all with you, but but giving it a new focus moving forward. If that makes any sense to you, that's what I'm getting. All right, let's get angelic advice for the left-hand side here that seems rather vague, I might add, although someone's incredibly defensive. Schooling, study, and education help your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So is someone feeling defensive about going back to school? 
I wonder if you're leaving entrepreneurship in order to go back to school and someone wants to start the entrepreneurship thing now. They don't want you to leave it, perhaps, if this is a business opportunity or something. Well, there's a decision to be made. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? I feel as though some of you don't necessarily know what your divine purpose is. And if you know exactly what's calling you, you're not going to like the answer to that whole question. Because usually when this card comes up, at least for me anyway, I already know the answer. So I don't really like that card very much. And you might not either. So, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So either way, whatever choice you make, being in touch with what your truth is, as soon as you know what that is, take action. There's no time to waste here. What energy does the divine want you to keep in mind this week as you move forward? Metamorphosis. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. So you're heading into a time of change, absolute change. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. So what is it you love? Who is it you love? What career do you love? What purpose do you love? Head towards that. It's going to bring you fulfillment and absolute transformation. I love you guys. Blessings to you. Have a great week.